Jesus, watch where you're going, idiot. Hmm. It's supposed to be class hours right now. You shouldn't be out here in the hall. Unless... You're cutting classes, are you? Wait. So you are cutting classes then? Hey! A student is wandering around the hall not attending classes. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Fuck! Who told you you could punch me in the arm? You got some nerve. If you aren't skipping classes then... Why the hell are you out here not going back to class? You don't look like the type to do that. You're clumsy, you stutter, and you don't seem to have your shit together. Let me guess, you're that one friend in your friend group that would get you in trouble when you're doing something you shouldn't. You're lying, aren't you? You're not really going to the bathroom. So what if you have a bathroom pass? This isn't the way to the bathrooms, sweetheart. Unless you're planning on peeing in the trash bin at the end of the hall, or on the ground, be my guest. You lost your way? I doubt you forgot the layout of this school. We have the same ID color, meaning you're the same year level as me. And you lost your way? Who am I? <laughs> Who are you? What if I told you I'm the home monitor? Yeah, it's right here. Think again, four eyes. Well, now that I've proven who I am, why don't you just go back to your classroom and let's pretend none of this ever happened. I won't tell anybody I saw you out here. Sounds like a deal, right? Why do you want to go in this hall anyway? This hall is full of lockers. Did you forget something? Why didn't you just say so? You didn't need to lie about going to the bathrooms. Unless you're hiding something. Hmm? What's that behind your back? Let me see it. For all I know, it could be a weapon, or a bomb, or weed. As a safety monitor, I have to ensure the safety of everyone in this building. If you're not going to show that to me, then you'd leave me no choice but to tell the teachers that you're out here and not going back to class. If that happens, you're going to find yourself in the faculty office and they'll make you explain yourself. Good. Such an obedient student. Now let me see. Flowers? And chocolates? Why do you have those? Uh, it's a Monday. What's so special about a Monday? Oh, it's your birthday. Congrats, you're a year closer to death. <sighs> Fine, I'll let you pass. But I need to come with you. Why? How would I know you aren't just gonna slip us by and stay in some secret place in the school to smoke something? Or drink something? Or meet up with some random nerd and make out? If I ever catch you kissing someone on campus ground, I won't hesitate to hit you on the head with a bat. Exactly. 
I'll take you to horny jail if you pull some shit like that. I'd drag your ass if I had to. Fine. You pass. But I'm coming. Didn't you hear me, Four Eyes? Listen, it's either I pass and accompany you, or I won't let you pass and I tell you to the teachers. Alright, let's go. So, what's your name? Ah, so it's you. I've heard of that cute name before. People have been talking about you lately because of that one incident with the history teacher. I heard you got in a heated debate with him. You got so upset. He almost marked your grades as a failed, right? I know enough to get an idea on who you are. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see this. But it makes sense. You seem to know your stuff. I'm guessing you research random shit that pops in your head? You don't just look like a nerd. You even sound and behave like one. But wow, the fact that you defeated our history teacher in a debate and he had to do a desperate move is pretty damn sick. <clears throat> so, he gave you those flowers and chocolates. Damn, you're pulling both guys and girls? Huh. You're full of surprises. What the hell do you mean? You don't think anybody is interested in you? How do you explain all that then? People gave you chocolates, plushies, flowers. You even got those love letters too, on your birthday. So what if they're just freshmen? Kids are allowed to have crushes on their seniors. I mean, again, how do you explain all this? Isn't that what a crush is? See? They even said in the love letter they appreciate you and look up to you. You're the inspiration. Whoa. Slow down, Four Eyes. What's the rush? You skipped one class, so what? Stressing about it doesn't matter if the class ended already. You're not gonna get kicked out of the school, and they're not gonna put that on your record. Calm down. How did you even manage to leave the classroom? Wait. Bathroom, right? Since you asked to go to the bathroom, I doubt the teacher's gonna think you're being sus. Apparently, you've been out of the classroom for 30 minutes. Using the bathroom. Hey, don't rush. You're fine. It's just one class, Four Eyes. Jeez. Are you some sort of teacher's pet or something? Take it easy. No one's in the hall yet. Just take your time. Good. I'll look out in case anybody passes by. You know, even though you're stubborn sometimes, it doesn't take that long for you to follow and be obedient. You know exactly what I mean, Four Eyes. Come to think of it, you're not bad looking at all. No wonder why people are swooning over you. <laughs> Did you really believe me back there? That I was a whore monitor? <laughs> this is just some random ID lace I picked up and made my own whore monitor ID. I don't want anybody stopping me from walking around so I made my own. Yeah, I'm cutting classes. 
And yes, it is my own tactic. But let's not talk about that now. Go back to your room. Your next class is about to start. Wait. I'm not done talking to you, Four Eyes. Now, look at me. Good girl. Listen here. I want to see you after school, understand? Don't ask why. Just be the obedient little student you are and follow. <laughs> Look at you. All blushing and flustered. I'll be expecting you after school. Don't be late. Four eyes. <laughs>